Hey, so after my last video where I explained how you can avoid conversation loops in your dialogue flow bot, I wanted to make another really short video to explain how your dialogue flow agent can uh, remember the user's name, which is a great thing to make your conversation more personal. And again, when you um, when you ha when the bot asks more questions or uh, says something when it reuses the user's name, it kind of gives it a personal touch. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so this is my usual bot where I first ask for the user's name and then for the email. And uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is to enter to create a name context with a lifespan of 50. So different from what I explained earlier, this context is not used to maintain the state of the conversation because for context that are steering the conversation, you should always only use the lifespan of one. This is a different type of context, which just maintains uh, knowledge, basically, this context says, uh, tells the agent, hey, I know the user's name. And then also it can look, it can use this context to actually look up the user's name. Um, so just uh, like a variable in a programming language, essentially. So the name is not undefined, which means, okay, we have the context, uh, which is called name. And now we can also use that name. So this is already here. And then I will go into my email intent and here there was something I needed to fix anyway, because a waiting name is my context, which is not valid at that point anymore because it only has the lifespan of one. So now I'm going to enter, I'm going to use the context name here to uh, carry forward the name. And then I have, something else here I've got my welcome intents which are used to avoid loops in the conversation so if I say hello what's your name and then I enter my name and now I'm entering again a hello hi then the bot jumps to this one uh, because it already it knows already my name, so why would it go to the welcome intent, which prompts me again from a name? This would just be an endless loop, which can be frustrating for the user. Um, so where are we now? The welcome has names, so I'm now going into this one. And say, I'm actually going to use the user's name here, so to make it a bit more personal. So name dot name. Hi, we've already met Peter in this case would be the output. And then maybe Peter would be more likely to tell me his email address in the next step because the bot is more personal, who knows. And then also I've got another one of those. When we when the user has both entered their name and the email address, then Uh, we also know the name, so now it's name dot name, and we're also using the name here again. And uh, to even make this more specific, I can also input name because the the conversation is essentially two steps. So first, we're asking for the name, then for the conversation, and this is only matched when we know the e sorry, not the conversation. Sec uh, second step is asking for the email. So once we know the email, we also know the name. So I'm just entering the name context here as well to make it more specific. So I'm saving this and resetting the context. And then let's start from the beginning. Hello, what's your name? What's your email address? Thanks, Peter. We'll contact you on peter.example. And then if I say hey again, now this didn't work for some reason. What just happened there? Uh, 
Let me do this again. Here we have the context name. Thanks, Peter. What's your email address? Thanks, Peter. We'll contact you on peter.example. Oh, I see. So the context email is actually missing. I wonder why. Yeah, it's not here. So once we know the email, we also need to set the email context here with the long last band to make the bot remember that it also knows the email and then we should be good to go. Going to reset this. Hello, what's your name? What's your email? Thanks, Peter. So it already knows my name. And now if I try to go back, uh, it, it knows, hello, yeah, I already know your name, Peter. And basically that's a very simple technique for the bot to remember names to make the conversation more personal, but it can also be used to remember anything else like uh, email address, address, whatever you want to remember.